So today I'm going to be unboxing the Dr. Cool Starter Science Kit. This is the Break Your Own Geodes Kit, and it comes with four geodes from two different mines, um, a pair of eyewear, a magnifying glass, and a display. So I'll just open this up and show you guys what's in it. It is definitely aimed towards children, so you have the adventure guide with games and different things, identification, translations of the directions, geode cracking instructions, and this activity booklet that has more games and puzzles and different things. Good things for kids if you're getting this as a gift. Inside the box, we have safety goggles and this magnifying lens and one nice little geode stand here. I do wish they would have included four at least since you are getting four geodes. Now on this box, they do say that this kit comes with four geodes from two different mines. Um, I've looked at them previously and honestly, I'm not entirely sure about that. We've got this one here, which to my untrained eye looks like a Moroccan geode. This geode here, which also I would say is probably Moroccan. And this geode here, which also has the typical tan Moroccan coloring. I will say I'm not a geode expert. I have only cracked maybe four or five varieties. Um, and then we have this wonderful little beastie here that has this fun kind of nodule sticking out of it. Um, I'm not even going to make a guess at this one because I have no idea what it is, but it should be fun.
Here are the geodes that I ended up getting from this Discover with Dr. Cool set. Um, I do feel like three of the four did end up being Moroccan geodes, which is fine. Um, they still had some really great formations, but they all have that kind of tan exterior with the bright white crystals inside. Um, there's some really great ones that have these kind of smaller, super spiky formations, almost a fuzzy look to them. A lot of these didn't crack evenly in half. I ended up getting lots of shards or cracking into three pieces, but to be fair, I did not have a chisel on me, so I'm still pretty pleased with how they turned out. I got a lot of really nice big chunks, so it wasn't like they completely shattered into pieces. The last geode that I cracked was this one, and I think my suspicions might have been right that it's a Troncus geode out of Chihuahua, Mexico. They tend to have this nice bluey silver look to them. This one was really cool because you can see where the geode is almost inside of another rock. As I was chipping it, I was chipping away more of this exterior rock. But you can see on this side how the gray is one whole rock itself. There's some really nice like drossy formations in there and the beginning of, I believe, some finger formations in this one. So that was really cool to get a different kind of geode in here and not just all the Moroccan, which I love, but it's one of the ones that's more commonly available where I'm at. So it's nice to find something that's a little bit different. Overall, um, none of mine were thunder eggs. None of mine were overgrown to the point where you couldn't see crystals. And I was really happy with how all of these came out, especially because Getting out the tile saw and everything, it's a process, so it's hard to take the time to do that. But to have just some geodes to, to crack open and see what they look like is really cool, especially these awesome silver ones were definitely my favorite.